So today is the uh, challenge that we have designated for the military child depreciation. And we're gonna have a challenge here during our lunch periods and also during classes with all the ROTC cadets. And they're gonna be getting kids here uh, during the lunch periods to participate. They're gonna be uh, grading them. And then at the end, whoever wins, we'll have a small prizes for them um, to receive for their participation. It's beneficial in several ways. One, they're exercising, so they're getting out there and, and staying healthy. Uh, but the most important one, we are actually doing it because we want to recognize the importance of the military child. It's awesome to be able to participate in something like this, even if it only is once a year. At least there are some students who are willing to participate in helping the military kids for April. Continually throughout the year, we're always supporting our military kids and our veterans and their families. But one of the things that we want to do is because it's April, uh, month of military child, is make sure that we acknowledge their uh, resilience and sacrifices. And in order for us to also get designated as a Purple Heart, we of course have to apply. But this is one of the things that we need to make sure that we show support to our military kids. I am actually from a military family of my own. And I have to say, not seeing a parental figure for years at a time could be really heartbreaking, especially learning that they could be hurt or that they might be in trouble or anything. So I hope that they notice that this month is really important and that it's not just some other month that just is a holiday and then that's it. Being in the military, you move around a lot and so do the kids. So they have to learn to be very resilient. With ROTC, the kids, they, one of the things is inclusiveness. And so we try to get other kids involved that are not just part of ROTC, but the whole school population. And again, April being month of the military child, we wanted to make sure we let them know, hey, we know you're here in school and we appreciate you. So we're trying to do this for them. And just tell them thank you for, for their service because they're also serving. And we know that they're also sacrificed when their mom and their dad are away, or they just have to go for some kind of school. And, and having to learn to make new friends in new places is always a hard thing, and so we appreciate their effort also.